YouTubers, my name is Vitus again, thanks for tuning in. Uh, today is the 1st of September and I have received my lovely luscious uh, check valve from the United States. It's been a couple of weeks getting up from eBay. Um, from a guy called uh, Travis Place. On, if you search that on the eBay you'll, you'll find it. Um, anyway, so I'm going to put this into my, um, off my bubbler in a minute. I'm going to give it a test with a with a flame of spark and to see how it works, make sure it does work. Uh, you've got to be careful this thing, make sure the arrow which is in the middle here faces directions my finger, so that's the flow of the gas, so make sure that's in the right way around and uh, give this a test. Um, also whilst I'm on it, I've ordered been doing other bits and pieces, I've ordered some um, uh, a microchip, it's, um, it's basically a LM3914N LED driver chip. Uh, what I'm going to use that for? I'm using that for some circuitry. I'm going to make um, uh, some sort of like um, devices in the car so to read the outputs of my map sensor, oxygen sensor, um, temperature sensor as well from the vehicle. So I'm going to order some more of these. This is the first one. These are only about 99p. Um, it's pretty good value, really. So I've got uh, some sockets as well to put the IC chip into. So that's another project I'm going to do later on in the week, maybe next week. Anyway, so I'm going to go back to put this into my generator and just do a little flashback test. Okay, so let's go through this then. So you've got the generator, bubbler. Water stuff starts off in here, comes down to the bottom, generates into hydrogen and oxygen. Water and air bubbles come up into the bubbler and recirculates the water. The gas comes out, down the tube into my first bubbler, by a tube down here, comes the gas comes out through this valve here, through the check valve which is directional this way, check the arrow, I don't know if you can see it there but there's a small arrow there saying that way, and into your gas, gas goes out into your engine. Let's turn this on, um, now these, this thing's about two inches long by the way, um, it needs four pounds of pressure before it starts actually working, so let's turn the switch on. Uh, gas is generating almost straight away, it's working. That's, that's from the main primary bubbler. Out through here, through the valve. And it's performing really well. Cool. So I'll um, do a test now and see if it can actually retard the flame coming through it. Okay, I've got it all set up now. Uh, check valves if you can see, uh, just up here. This is my um, rocket launcher I made, if you remember, a few weeks ago. So a spark just at the top here from the output of the ITHO. I'm going to stand back out of the shed using my uh, ignition here, as you can see, uh, to do it outside. So let's uh, turn the gas on. Okay, it's bubbling away. That means gas is coming out. And we'll give it a test. Five, four, three, two... One. Didn't work, did it? Ah. As you can see, uh, it didn't work. Nothing. Um, something, something just failed. That's all. <laughs> ah. The uh, valve has disappeared. There we go. And my bottle's gone somewhere. Hmm. Never mind. Uh, right. Okay, uh, that just shit the life out of me. Um, it failed. Spectacular. Well, the explosion was just amazing. Um, this is what's left of my bits and pieces. Uh, I found the check valve in the end. It's still attached to the um, outlet pipe where I lit it from. Uh, that's the outlet from my bubbler. Smashed to bits, and that was the bit from the primary bubbler. So really, my bubbler acted as the safety valve in this situation, and the check valve didn't do anything at all. And it's not like I had a long hose coming from it. There's not, not that much pressure coming through. So I know I've seen some videos where the guys have had really long hoses from the bubblers, and it's had so much pressure building up behind the valve, and it's not worked. But no, that's is only about it's eight inches long that pipe. So it's destroyed my um, bubble I've been making for the last few weeks. Boo hoo! Uh, but otherwise, the, the main, the main uh, 
things alright, if it's still working, let's turn it on. Um, doesn't seem to be harmed in any way. No, that still seems to be fine. Just covered in water at the moment. But that was a loud bang. It's, it's fried life army. Okay. Um, so warning guys, check valves. When you are testing them, stand well back. I have to speak to this guy on eBay. Tell it didn't work. Thanks for watching. <laughs> back to the drawing board, I'm afraid, with the bubblers. Take care now. Much love.